to Kmart. I am going to be looking at some, picking up some sheeting and bedding for my daughter who is going to be transferring into a single bed soon. We transferred my son when he was just over one. It fit, we found it gave him more room and he really liked it. So I'm going to go to Kmart and get a few bits and pieces and we're going to look at fantastic furniture later on and get some beds and stuff sorted for her. Let's go. fitted sheets. What have we got? Jersey fitted sheet set. Single bed. $15. And they feel really nice. I think I might grab two sets of those. Oh, that's really cute. So this is in Target. Um, $29 for a single bedspread. I think that's really cute. It's got like elves and little birds. I can't get pink for her room because her walls are like a peach colour and it just clashes. So I really like that. Do I treat my son to one? They're so cheap. Look, that one's only $20. $19. That's kind of cool. He's in just space at the moment. I am alerted. Active so I got everything I wanted. I wasn't overly happy with the price of the sheets at Pillow Talk. So I got one set from Kmart, which are pretty good. And I found this beautiful bedspread from Target. So I'm happy with everything. I even picked myself up a little treat the way home. All we need to do now is finalize the bed we want, the mattress we want, and the bedside drawers, which I'm gonna do on Tuesday. Um, I'm gonna pop out to Fantastic Furniture with Little Miss. My husband's seen it, we just need to finalize it and pay for it. So now, along with the, everyone else that wants to sort of go, I'm going to head home. I decided not to have on how I just paid for that. So it literally looked at the um, mattress, looked at the bed, looked at the bedside drawers. On the spot, he pulls out this little iPad and we went through, had it in stock, paid for it on the spot right there. He's got this cute little machine where you just press all these buttons and you can pay for it. Um, and it's coming Thursday. Super impressed with Ama and also had a look at some of their couches down the track not now obviously we're trying to do a kids room first um, but they had some really nice couches so one of them had a recliner which my husband would love but right now i am off to next location okay today today is tuesday we've just got notification that little mrs furniture is going to arrive on Thursday, which means we're going to put it together Friday, Saturday. So I wanted to start to prep her room for the furniture. Now, when we had my son, we actually had his room now. So this was the nursery and his room. We were able to set the bed up and we were playing in there. And he got used to it. Can't do it here. She's literally going to go. Thank you. Thank you. Go from the cot to the bed. So I can't really transition her so what i thought i would do this week is start to prep her room so what i've done is i've put her 
bed blanket in here so she's starting to sleep on her quilt so she's going to get used to that today i need to rearrange these drawers here need to go into the wardrobe she's just been playing <sighs> yep oh look at my mirror um so this needs to come out the drawers need to go in there this chair we don't need it's actually got a um a sheet over it now <laughs> take all that off um that's the underbed storage there so that's got to go so i'm just going to rearrange her room a bit so for the next few days she's going to get used to the room looking different i've introduced the new bedding so she's going to get used to the smells of that it'll start to smell like her so all i need to do when the bed comes is everything else will be set up and in its place and the bed will just go in so it's not a massive change for her so we're going to spend the morning rearranging gonna go I decided to bring these in here one I need something to put these things on too and she's gonna have a little side drawers there so I thought that was just handy just to sort of help the transition like my son we're gonna get her one of those little TP things that they can read and play under so for now she's just got her cushion set up there and her little doll thing the bed's obviously gonna come out to here a bit further so that'll get taken up I put the under storage tubs under the cot which will go under the bed and in the wardrobe her drawers fit perfectly i will need to rearrange the drawers because i'm going to change them around a bit and put other things into them but for now that works really well her clothes they're just gonna stay as they are the other side of the wardrobe i need to fix It does have all of my husband's and my like our snow gear and our big bulky jackets. And down here, I need to clean all of these out and rearrange some stuff. Not important right now. The main thing was... Main thing was to get her room sort of starting to look like what it's going to be on the weekend. I'm probably going to rearrange. These are little butterfly wall decals that came with that artwork so i might even rearrange that around a bit they're stick-ons they're actually fabric they're a fabric decal so when you pull them off they're just a fabric and you can like re-stick them and re-stick them and re-stick them so i think i'm going to change the layout of them there because they just look like smears on the wall from far back um so i might do something with those i'm not too sure what i'll do with those above her bed they might change but for now we're looking good, so I'm going to give her a few days, a few nights getting used to this setup. Then the new furniture will come and hopefully, and hopefully, she'll transition quite well. Mm -hmm. oh. 
So today I am going to, so the furniture came yesterday, I bought the drawers up last night and put them in the room, it wasn't a flat pack, it was already built which was really handy. Today I'm going to attempt to get the cot taken down, her new bed in and we're 90% of the way there. There's a few things I'm still waiting for. Um, but let's just see if I can get this all done before her morning nap because I'd like her to sleep in her bed for her nap today because otherwise, I don't know, she'll be sleeping in her son's, in her, um, in her brother's bed. <laughs> uh, so let's get this room going. I got from eBay which is a beautiful rose gold colour. The tent just ties in so well. It's beautiful and very. These hangers are rose gold and white. I got from Bunnings. I will link everything below. But our little girl is not a little girl anymore. She has a big girl room and I absolutely love how it turned out. If you enjoyed this video please make sure you subscribe. I upload every Tuesday and Friday and follow me on Instagram as I do daily stories and posts about mum life and everything in between and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye! Good girl, traffic on a Saturday afternoon.